So I want to show you this sketch that I've just finished. And it's this house by the architect Piso van Elrikshausen, and it's in Chile. And the cool thing about sketches like this is that they're fast, effective, and a fun way of communicating ideas and design concepts. So in this video, I'm going to share my process for making sketches like this. So let's get started. So with drawings like this, we just need to set up the axis with one vertical line and two lines coming off at approximately 30 degree angles like this. I then outline the overall volume of the building, which is basically just a rectangular shape and start showing how the building sits in the landscape. I then start to mark out where the joint lines of the concrete are on the facades. And you can notice I'm just using really light lines here, so just to get a sense of where things are, these can be darkened later on. I use the lines along the facades to mark the window locations. And then I draw heavier lines to give the outline of the building just a little bit more definition. So I've got the overall shape of the building and I'm now starting to add a few more details like the stairs on the roof. Here I'm just starting to add some depth to the windows to give them that nice punched opening look. I then start to shade the glass portions and I start showing the texture of the concrete with vertical lines. And you can start to see where the concrete pores are which is one of the things that gives this building its character. So the third step is just about describing the landscape. So the building is kind of floating at the moment, so I need to describe the ground that it sits on just so that it looks a little bit more realistic. So I decide on the composition and mark out the extents of the landscape I want to show. And this house is sitting on this kind of rocky cliff, so I'm using these squiggly lines to start to describe the feel and the texture of that surface. And then I just use a scribbling technique to start to show the grassy mounds that surround the house. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful and you got some value from it. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.